Let me explain you another concept around data management. Because if data is so important, you have to understand how to manage that data, how the data is stored and how you collect the data to really create the models with AI to produce value at the end. The most simple way to store data is a, in a common separated values file, CSV file. All the data, and this is very uh, common for structural data, you separate the data between commons and then all the roles are quite the same. Yes, with data, uh, one information, a comma, another information, a comma, another information. It's very easy to, to have a look in this kind of file and to understand. And this format, it's very common and probably is the, the way that everybody will start to use data uh, to build AI models, is starting with CSV files. If you look this file and convert it to an Excel file, the same data is here on tables, on columns, it's, it's more easy and more intuitive to look at this kind of data, yes? And you, you can use Excel files as an input for your data, for training data also, but uh, it's important to say that this kind of files are small data, they usually are not unstructured, they are structured and they are good for this kind of uh, information. What is very common inside uh, business and companies is the use of relation database management systems. The data are structured in tables, in columns, in rows. You, you really understand. You understand what is the primary key that represents and create a unique value between all the rows inside one table and connect to foreign keys in the other tables and you can build and, uh, and relate all this data, yes? And usually RDBMS are used with SQL, Structure Query Language, yes, SQL, yes? And here is an example, select a client uh, first and last from the table clients where the age is greater than 50 and sex equal male. It's very important that you really understand SQL. SQL is the most used language in the, the business world to query data, to, to, to select data, to update data, to create new data. And then it's very important to understand how to use SQL in your day by day because you want to get uh, those values in RD, BMS that store the majority of the information in, in companies, for example, in transactional databases. And it will be very helpful to collect the data if you understand how to use SQL to do that. And here, some of the most important examples of RD, BMS. Uh, MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle Database, IBM DB2, PostgreSQL, uh, AWS Aurora, and there are some other examples in the market. But relation database management are very good for structured data, but they are not so good for unstructured data. And that's the reason why new kinds of, of databases and database management systems uh, arise in, in the last decades or two decades to deal and store the data in different formats. Could be in a key value format, could be in a graph connecting and exposing the relationship between the data in additional forms, additional forms, in columns, in documents. And here an example how you store uh, an information in a, a document, a JSON document here. Because the data, we cannot only use one format, one kind of store and manage the data. We have to use different forms and that's the reason why new database, database management systems uh, appeared in the last decades to deal with the different structure of data that we have. And here are some examples, MongoDB, CouchDB, Neo4j, Cassandra, and they use different ways to store and manage the data because the data are in different structures or information or unstructured, okay? They are better to deal with unstructured data. And in the big data world, we also have different kind of systems to deal with that. Apache Spark, Hadoop are very, very important tools to help us to manage because 
with big data we are not talking about just one database in one machine in one server in one big storage we have to distribute the storage of all those data in maybe more than one machine in clusters of machines we have to distribute the processing of the data to manage the data maybe we have to manage data in different kind of machines in memory using disk or not different ways to deal because here we are talking about data that come in volume high volumes in high velocity in a variety that is not usually common and we have to deal with this big data in the right time yes to get the value when we need the value and not two or three weeks after the situation has happened for example